Hello everyone and welcome to a little commentary part about this run that I drove on Stunt D1. First of all, maybe some information about why I actually hunted this map right now, despite not playing stunt modes for ages. Uh, so my previous world record on this map was 1691 points and I drove it about 9 years ago, so it was very very old. And for all these 9 years I didn't touch this map at all. So I was really curious if I can improve it or not. And last year, about 9 months ago, a player Akantor uh, improved my world record to uh, 1776 points. So about 80 points improvement. And yeah, it might seem like a lot of points, but yeah, I also knew that I improved myself over the, the years. 9 years is a lot of time. So yeah, I really wanted to see how far I can push my old PB. And yeah, this is the result. So I played it with, uh, with competitive patch in official mode. Uh, I also have a live recording now of this run. So yeah, let's watch it. So 3 to 1. Uh, as you can see my uh, PB before I got the world record, I already managed to improve to 1756. So I was 20 points behind the world record at this point. Um, so start of this map is just press forward, you don't do anything here. And somewhere at this point, by the end of the turbo, I start turning to the right. So that I can get a corkscrew. Now on this landing, what I usually do, I try to keep my car as unstable as possible. So I want my wheels to wiggle to left, right. You don't want to have full grip on the on this road by the time you reach the defense at the end. Because that helps you to jump much further on this jump. Uh, so right now you can see I'm getting a master rodeo. Uh, at this jump you can get either a backflip or a rodeo. It's very important to get a master. If you don't get it, you can probably just restart. Well, if you are just going for a good score, you don't need to respawn. But if you are aiming for world record, you probably should. And one other thing, you really want to land as close to the red booster as possible. Because on this map, the most important thing probably is to maintain your time as as good as you can because uh, it's really tight by the by the end of the of the way I'm using and you just can't afford to lose even a single second. Um, so yeah, here I got a rodeo. I'm gonna be at the same place second time in the run. You have to remember to get a rodeo or a backflip first time and get the second trick the, the second time. So I have a rodeo right now, so the next time I will want to get a backflip. Uh, <clears throat> so here I just do an aerial and once again you are here two times. Once you wanna get an aerial and once you wanna get an alley-oop. Aerial is when you fly and spin in the same direction and alley-oop is when you fly and spin in the opposite direction. So here I managed to get a master aerial. It's pretty easy to get a master here. One thing that kind of inconsistent here is that sometimes you get uh, 900 rotation. Right now I had 720 and if I had 900 I would get I think like 24 points more, something like that. Uh, between 20-25 points more from what I remember. Basically it depends on how much you rotate. If I rotated my car slightly more I would have got 900. But yeah, getting 204 points here is pretty decent. But not getting a master is not so great. I would usually just restart the run if I didn't get a master. Uh, so now here is the part that makes your score the most probably. Because uh, here you wanna turn sideways. Then you wanna keep on spinning. Here I actually didn't rotate as much as I wanted. It was actually not what I usually did on my runs. Uh, but yeah, here I pretty much improvised because that was a very unusual state that my car was in. But still I managed to get a small backflip here. I kept on rotating. I had a very nice rolling madness. Gave me 80 points and that is quite a lot. 
And here I still managed to get two more spins. So at this point I have 763 points and I would say if you have above 700 then it's decent start. If I had under 700 I would usually just restart as well. Uh, I probably had some starts that were above 800 or very close to 800 but this one was pretty fine as well. So yeah, here you wanna go as quick as you can uh, towards this red booster and do probably the biggest stunt of this uh, of this map, the spinning chaos. Uh, you wanna pretty much land uh, either on the black platforms or on the the lower or the higher part of the roof. What you wanna avoid is the there is a small elevation change and if you land uh, somewhere on this line it usually doesn't give you a very good bounce. Uh, so anyway, here I managed to land a straight spinning chaos. Getting a master is pretty random here. It sometimes happens, but uh, usually straight is good enough. And here I got extremely lucky. I had a really nice bounce into a master flipping mix. That's actually huge. It's 166 points, uh, bonus points, uh, because whatever you get on this landing is pretty random. Uh, usually I get a backflip or a rodeo, and these usually, usually are under 100 points. But here I managed to get 166. And yeah, as I landed on the red booster, I've decided to just risk it, even though I'm already on a really good run. I've decided to risk it even more and just continue driving for it a little bit, because important, the time is very important. But I've decided to sacrifice a little bit of my time just to hope for an even better score. So I continue driving and get another another small jump. Uh, sadly, it's only a flipping rack, only 20 points. If I didn't land on the roof of my car, it would be like maybe 50 points more. I mean, it's still decent, but I don't think it was worth the risk. It would be better to probably just uh, respawn right away. Here's the important part. Uh, usually on a map, if you play Trackmania, you usually can't respawn to the start. It's only possible if you play in the official mode. So yeah, in official mode, if you press enter, you return to the start. You lose 50 points just as on a regular respawn and you can continue driving. Uh, so yeah, if I wouldn't be in official mode, if I would play online on this map, my run would just restart. Just a bit of exploit you could say but it's very commonly used on the uh, stunt campaign maps so anyway i'm here now with 1186 points and that's the highest score at this place i've ever had i've probably had only three runs that were above 1100 points and yeah anything above 1050 at this point is already pretty good you can get a world record run with anything above 1050. Here I am pretty far above this record, so I was already pretty nervous. But yeah, we are driving the same start as previously. Just a PF here, uh, turn late. Try to keep your car pretty unstable. Uh, now it's very important to just go straight. I had a rodeo at first, now I wanna go um, just perfectly straight to get a backflip. The difference between a backflip and a rodeo is that, yeah, I, I don't know how to technically describe it, but when doing a rodeo your car just isn't completely straight in the air. Yeah, but if you, if you take a look at the start and at this part, you can pretty easily notice the difference. So here I got a master backflip, so everything is going perfectly until now. Um, now here I have to do an alley-oop, so I spin in the opposite direction that I'm flying to. Uh, usually right here I try to land backwards to get some additional rotation and also some extra points. But I was so nervous that I can mess it up that I just went super safe and landed forwards. Uh, because if you land backwards you have to very quickly turn 180 on the ground. If you do it wrong then you just don't have a good position for the red turbos and you can mess this up. And also it costs you a little bit of time. Uh, so now I have 1756 points, which is huge at this point. And that's probably the part that I messed up the most 
world record attempts uh, because here you just have to get lucky you do the same trick yeah the outcomes are usually very random so i turn uh turn sideways and actually i didn't mention it on this landing it's very common to get some kind of a landing bug your car will just lose all the speed and won't rotate at all and basically it just ruins your run so you just have to be be hoping that you won't get it but here i actually had a very nice jump and this is actually how i wanted it to look like on my first time i was here but yeah first i worked pretty nicely even with bad position so who cares here i land um, a very nice rolling madness 124 points i'm already at 1800 so it's enough for world record but you can see i'm only two and a half seconds away from the time uh time end so um here I had another additional roll, so another 60 points, but only less than 2 seconds to get to the finish. And I still try to land the last trick. You can see, maybe frame after frame, I didn't land this last stunt on time. So if I had maybe like 3 tenths of a second more, I would have landed another stunt and that would give me probably like... 50 maybe 60 points so i would be over 1900 a bit unlucky and also my landing wasn't the greatest but i'm pretty close to the finish line a bit of a tight jump here but i already trained it quite a lot yeah the time has ended so i'm losing one point for each tenth of a second so here i reach the finish i lose 47 points because i reached the finish four seconds and seven tenths after the time limit so my final score is 1826 which is a really good score i've beaten the old world record by 50 points i took my world record back which i'm very happy about and yeah most important i had a lot of fun playing this map i think uh, humanly it's possible to push this up to 1900 points but it will it will require almost flawless run so yeah the time will tell if my record will stand I don't think uh, anyone besides Akantor is interested in this map. Uh, so yeah, thank you for listening to me. Hopefully you enjoyed and maybe learned something new. So that's it for this video. Have a nice day, goodbye. And a special thanks to my channel supporters. Huge thanks, goodbye.